when you made Friday, did you believe it was going to be as big as it was? Or was it just another movie that you was doing? When me and Ice Cube sat in his um, motorhome, we was watching the dailies. We knew Chris was about to become Chris Tucker, the movie star. We knew Friday was going to make a lot of noise. Now, does it bother you when people still call you Debo today? Hell no. Should I make so much damn money off of Debo? Make money off of Zeus. The whole thing about me being with Monster Energy Drink, they have a bicycle, they play that character. Uh, people want to see that character. He's, uh, I told you, I, I pulled that from Big U. I used him as my background of what I, how I wanted this character to be perceived. Because the whole thing about how bad this guy was is when Ice Cube pulled the gun on him. He said, what you gonna do with that? Besides make me mad. That was cold-blooded. That's That was it for me. And when he knocked me a long ass out, gotta knock a bitch out, gotta knock a bitch out, put it over, make you a real bad person. How close is Debo to your real personality? Uh, like I said, it's the, it's, Debo's big you. <laughs> Can't be stopped. I didn't, my family had a lot of alcohol in it, so I didn't, I didn't want to drink. So I used to always say I, I like milk and cookies, and uh, I might drink a Corona every once in a while, maybe one, uh, one or two a year, maybe um, if it's super hot on a hot day. Try to, but I'm not, a, I'm not a drinker. And I, I want to break the generation curse in my family because we have a lot of alcoholic in, in my family, the generation before me. Have you ever hit anybody as hard as you hit Red and Friday? Hell, motherfucking yeah. Asshole Colgan. <laughs> yeah, they had them white people scared. They big white hero about to bow down to that big fool from Compton. Zeus, the human record machine. What's the craziest experience you had making Friday? I don't like the dirty draw scene, man. Ice Cube slid that shit in after I signed my contract. Put that stuff in. My, uh... <laughs> I used to go to... I used to live in Atlanta. And, um... Had a gold digging girlfriend. Back was that Spellman. I ain't gonna say her name. And, uh... Back then... Uh, she had some pretty eyes, though. She had some pretty eyes. Had that long hair. All the light skinned girls go to Spelman. And um, she said, Oh, damn. Because she had washed all my clothes, right? She said, Damn, they know your ass real well, though. Because she tried to say, That's a, That was my drawers for real when she washed them. I said, I'm going to choke your ass out, you little yellow heifer. Shit. Let me talk to my business partners. You want to go to work? Or do you want to go to work? Yeah. You were in next Friday, but not Friday after next. And why not? Don't, you gotta ask an ice cube question. You know, um, maybe he wasn't feeling me. I don't know. But Cube Cube has always been good to me. He put me in a course like commercial, got me about seventy thousand dollars. And uh he told me me and Terry's in the, the last one together, that's all I'm gonna give y'all. I can't tell you the story, but me and Terry Crew joined forces. Debo and Damien. And I told Cuba, I'm getting up there, and they said, well, you just a, you an OG. You OG, Debo. And uh, so, I pray we do it. Um, I'm really concerned if it's going to happen now, because we were supposed to shoot this year.